It was April 2017. I've announced a challenge called $10 to $1000 challenge Savage Edition. The goal was simple. Turn $10 to $1000 playing online poker. The conditions and the rules of the challenge weren't that simple though. Thanks to the laws in Czech Republic, I wasn't able to play satellites, spin and goes, KO and bouncy tournaments, free rolls, zoom tournaments, and on top of that, I had to late register all of the tournaments thanks to the stupidly written Article 59. I also decided to not play cash games and not take advantage of any bonuses and rake back to make it even harder for myself to achieve my goal. I also committed myself to document the whole process by uploading a highlight video from each stream to my YouTube channel. I didn't want it to be easy, which was a blessing and a curse at the same time. September 2017. After six months of grinding, lots of ups and downs, including almost going broke twice, I was able to get my bankroll up to 952. Sounds awesome, right? Easy home run. Get the challenge done, start a new one like a boss. It was day 99 of the challenge and I was facing a decision. Do I pull the safety brake, play some small sit and goes, get those $48 that I needed to finish the challenge nice and easy? Or do I try to do something epic? Do I try to give this challenge the epic ending that it deserves? I remember how easy it was for me to make this decision. It was clear to me. And even now when I know what this single decision cost, I still wouldn't change it. Because it was a blessing in disguise. And you will find out why a little later. So, as you probably figured, I went with the second option. The harder option. I decided that it would be a great idea to challenge a Team Poker Stars Pro a seasoned cash game player and a huge role model and now also a good friend of mine Felix Xflix Schneiders to a $60 heads up match. Felix's challenge from $80 to 8k was a huge inspiration for me to start my own challenge. So I thought it would be epic to finish my challenge on day 100 by beating him in heads up match. Like beating a final boss in a video game, you know beaten the original challenger and take his throne. So here we are, day 100 of the $10 to $1000 challenge. This can be it. After all the struggle, the perfect ending that I wanted so bad is closer and closer. I was so focused on the idea of finishing the challenge and what am I gonna say? How am I gonna act? Who am I gonna thank? How am I gonna celebrate? That I totally forgot that there is still a battle in front of me and that's where my focus should be. Felix ran over me. He totally dominated the whole heads up match. He was really aggressive and on top of that I was really car dead and it was really hard for me to make a move or to even focus and think. And when I finally decided to play back at him with 10-4 off, yes, 10-4 off suit, he woke up with Ace King and I lost the battle. Okay, the perfect ending on day 100 is not happening. It's okay, Carlin. You still have $890. You will come back tomorrow and finish it. Tomorrow came and it didn't happen. A week after, challenge is still not finished and I run insanely bad. A month after, challenge is still not finished and my bankroll keeps dropping and I still run insanely bad. People keep messaging me. I keep reading the comments. What's taking you so long, Carlen? What's wrong, Carlen? Guys, can you imagine if he went broke after getting this close? That would be insane. The fear of losing it all. I couldn't stop thinking about it. I didn't share this with my audience, which I kinda regret now, but I was really depressed. I was trying to fight the anxiety, but the fear of failure always took over. My habits weren't healthy, I was eating junk food, my sleep schedule was all over the place, which was affecting my game and on top of that, I was running really really bad. I went from almost finishing the challenge in 100 days to continuously dropping for another 180 days. 
the run bad was real, I wasn't playing ideal and I just couldn't find a way to stop it. It just seemed like I'm not destined to get this challenge done. But I kept going, that's what I always do. At some point I overcame the fear of failure as well. I fixed my habits, started studying more. I got a coach, I just needed to know that I'm doing everything I can to get back up. I came close to finish the challenge many, many more times during those 180 days, but the luck just wasn't on my side when I needed it. It was quite the opposite. November 2018. Challenge ended. I failed. But was it really a failure? I believe I wouldn't achieve most of those things if I got the challenge done on day 100. Because most of those achievements came after it. My mindset got better, I grew as a person, I'm more confident, I was able to build a supportive community, I got a sponsorship thanks to all the videos I was making while I was dropping down. I believe in timing of the universe, everything happens for a reason. And if something doesn't happen the way you would want it to, it's because there's something better waiting for you. As long as you stay positive and keep doing the right thing, it always plays out at the end. And here I am, standing in front of another decision. What is gonna be my next chapter? If you couldn't tell by now, I don't like when things are easy. Where there is resistance, there is growth. Where there is pain, there is strength. Where there is a challenge, there is a progress. So shall we begin the next chapter? I say yes and I'm officially announcing my new challenge which is called 1k to 10k challenge. I will attempt to turn a starting bankroll of 1k to 10k playing online poker and documenting the whole process. The rules of the challenge are very simple. There are no rules. Get to 10k however I can. The first challenge was very strict and very limited you know, when it comes to the game selection and, and options uh, that we had and you know. It was a fun element, it made the challenge harder for me to achieve, which was, you know, fun. But only sometimes, you know, at some point it just caused more harm than good, if you know what I mean. And I just felt, what's the word, shackled? I just felt shackled uh, sometimes, you know, and I would like to change that with uh, this challenge and just give myself an opportunity to be a little more versatile and, you know, experiment and expand. Uh, so in this challenge there are not gonna be many uh, rules and restrictions and you know different different limits and stuff uh, as we had during the during the first challenge so besides the law limitations of Czech Republic there are no other limits there are no other rules I'm just gonna play everything I can and everything I want and everything that will make it interesting for my audience to watch my main game are still gonna be tournaments, but if I feel like having a cash game session, I am allowed to do that, which uh, wasn't the case during the first challenge, because cash games was the rule number one, was, you know, no cash games, it's easier, blah, 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 you know, and I don't think it will happen so often, but you never know, like, maybe there's something I want to try out in, in cash games and just have a random cash game session, so I am allowed to do that during this challenge. But as I said, tournaments are still gonna be our main game. The only rule that I feel like we need to have is a staking rule. I get continuously asked to sell some action. Even during the first challenge, there were just people who wanted to invest in me. And, you know, 
we weren't able to do that you know my uh, opinion on the all staking and stuff you know i don't like it i don't like to play with someone else's money blah 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 you know the story but i just feel like you know it will add another fun element and it's just unfair compared to the whole streaming community because it's a common thing uh, for streamers to sell action to their audience so i just decided to you know let my audience buy uh, action uh, for this challenge as well but there is one rule that we need to stick to and i think it's fair you know uh, it will allow us to play some uh, higher buying events but at the same time it will be fair for the challenge because basically there's gonna be a rule of 50 percent which means that i can't sell more than 50 percent so i can sell up to 50 percent and the rest the other 50 percent has to be for my own bankroll you know and i think that's that's a fair deal as i said like it's a normal common thing for streamers to sell action to their audience and it just adds the it just adds excitement uh for the viewer to to watch the streamer and you know if you combine the excitement from having a piece of the streamer plus the challenge itself it just it just goes together well so i decided to you know include staking um in this challenge as well so that's the only rule uh that i made uh when it comes to the rakeback system bonuses and different tickets receiving from giveaways on twitter or whatever i am allowed to take advantage of those things as well during this challenge you know i figured it's a normal part of online poker and if we did if we do not take advantage of those things it just puts us in a in a disadvantage for no no reason at all so bonuses you know rake back tickets giveaways whatever i am allowed to you know uh, use those as well to help me achieve my goal and by the way some laws in czech republic changed so we are finally able to play some satellites and some bounty tournaments which i'm super duper excited for it was something that was really really annoying and it was such a disadvantage during the first challenge that i'm you know just super excited to finally play some satellites and some bounty tournaments during the challenge thanks god the challenge will take place on poker stars and party poker i will deposit 500 on ps 500 on party that's 1k total and we're gonna try to run it up to 10k but that doesn't mean that I'm not gonna play on GG Poker anymore. I'm still gonna play there. I'm still gonna stream. I'm still gonna, you know, include what's going on there in the in the highlight videos for YouTube. But I just figured it would be easier for me from the technical side uh, to separate the two worlds. So everything that happens on GG Poker is not included in the challenge. Uh, you know, it will also give the answer to one of the most frequently asked questions that I was uh, getting asked during the first challenge, which was, Carlin, how do you make your money if you, you know, can't afford to just do this this challenge, you know, running 10 hours to 1K and you, you don't play anything else on the site and stuff. So yeah, guys, basically everything that happens on GG Poker is personal. Everything that happens on PSM Party is the challenge. And I think it's fair, you know, since I'm sponsored by GG Poker, I receive tickets, I do different free rolls, giveaways and stuff. It will be just easier for me from the technical side to just separate it uh, from the challenge. And it's also good because when you actually have a place to escape when, you know, feel like taking a break from the challenge, we can do that by going on GG Poker for a week and just, you know, take a break from the challenge when uh, I feel like. So yeah, there you go. The whole process of the challenge will be documented. I will be uploading highlight videos from each day to my YouTube channel. Uh, I will stream four days a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday and Sunday. Uh, the schedule might change in the future but for now that's what we are going with and yeah that's basically it it would honestly really mean a lot to me if you supported me as much as you did during the first challenge and i have a funny feeling that this challenge will be multiple times better uh, than the first one and yeah man just the experience is there we know how the dancing feels we know how to you know grind for four days a week and upload videos edit and just have the pressure and the chip on our shoulder i'm more confident just just wiser you know humble there is no ego i feel like i'm in control of my actions and my habits as never before and i feel like it's only gonna get better 
and I promise you guys to bring you the best content and the best version of myself every time I stream. I honestly do and you know if you show support and love by just I don't know watching or following giving a like or whatever or just message me you know that will really mean a lot to me and you know help me to push through so yeah guys Monday Wednesday Friday and Sunday twitch.tv slash Colin show the 1k to 10k challenge starts this Friday so if you're watching this on the day that I uploaded the challenge starts tomorrow um, but yeah Friday March 1st is the beginning of the 1k to 10k challenge.